Hey everyone, it's Brad Shushin here, and today I'm making my first of many tutorial videos for Space Engineers. In this episode, I will cover the basics of the main menu, how the workshop integration works, and the different types of worlds you can create, and basic movement controls. So if you like this video, please let me know and subscribe if you already haven't done so. So first off, I'm going to show you New World, which allows you to create either Quick Start, which loads from the Easy Start 1 world, or Custom World, which allows you to choose from Easy Start 1, Easy Start 2, Survival, and Empty World. Now, I honestly prefer Easy Start 1 and the Empty World because Empty World is the easiest to load on a low-end PC, and Easy Start 1 because it has a few asteroids and other than that it's pretty much empty. Easy Start 2 I would avoid because it does have a station which does uh, take up a lot of memory, so I wouldn't really go with that one. When creating a world you're also given the option to autosave. Now, I don't, I don't really use this because it gets annoying with it popping up every 5 minutes and if I'm doing something that's risky I prefer to save it just before I do whatever I'm doing and if it fails then I can just go back to my save without worrying about autosave, butting in and ruining everything. So once you've created your world, you've played around it a bit, you saved it from the main menu, you load it in through the load world option. Now this shows all the worlds you've created in order of which you've last played them. So the last world I played was the rail system world and you can rename these through edit settings. Also allows you to toggle autosave on or off if you've accidentally left it on or off previously. You can also save as, which allows you to just rename it as well, and delete a world. You can also publish your worlds to the workshop, which is something I'm coming up to next. Now, the way the workshop works is, this is an out of game area on Steam, which you can access by simply clicking on Space Engineers from your list, clicking on Browse the Workshop, and from there you can subscribe to User Created Worlds, which would then pop up in your workshop button here. So these are all the worlds I've subscribed to, and to play them, all I have to do is click on them and go copy and load. What this does is this brings the world over here now. So as you guys can see, here are a few of the workshop items, ready for me to just click on and go load. So now we'll move over to basic in-game movement controls. So here as you can see I have loaded in the quick start world or the easy start one world, which starts you off in third person view standing on a platform. So if you want to go first person you press the key V, which can toggle in between first and third person. Now, we are currently standing on a platform because there is a gravity generator there, so I can show you the two types of controls that you'll be mostly working with, which is in gravity or walking around, and jetpack controls. So the first off is basic movement, which is pretty much like a standard FPS, WASD to move around and do strafe, space to jump, and C to crouch. And I can show that in the third person, so WASD to move around, space to jump, and C to crouch. Now with your jetpack on, it's a different story, so if you press X, you can see that my character is now glowing on his back from his jetpack. You can also, also scroll in in third person to get up nice and close to your character. So the way this works is similar to walking on the ground, WSD move you around like that, forward, backwards and strafing, but Q and E allows for your character to rotate. Space makes you go up, and C makes you go down instead of crouching, because crouching in space would be a bit weird. So I'm going to turn off my gravity here and pull you back down. So that's the basic for the movement controls. In the next video I will cover the toolbar and how to create your first ship. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.